Hi guys, happy Wednesday. It is September 5th. Hope you're having a great day so far. Thanks for joining us for Live with Lee and Haley. I'm Haley Harmon alongside Lee Cruz. We missed you yesterday. Back in the saddle. We're so glad you're back. Glad you're feeling uh, better. You're I looking feel a little good. better, yeah. Thank you for yes. sucking the poison out. No problem. It was that uh, Frontier Medicine that she does. Yes. It's Have fantastic. You, did you ever play Oregon Trail? Yeah. That's very much I, what I'm it was like. from a snake bite. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. By the way, I do want to thank... Uh, because uh, Dr. Hadley's mother watches this show, I was told. So, okay. hello. Oh, your doctor, Dr. Hadley. Yeah. Hello, Dr. Hadley's mother. She Thank was you commenting for on something I said. I think that's what he told me. I don't yes. know. I'm in the fog of <laughs> yeah, medicine. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but here's uh, something else I learned um, from our uh, mutual friend Holly over the, yes. the Plastic Surgeons of Lexington. Love Apparently, her. this show is a huge hit in lobbies of medical facilities. Specifically, sanatoriums. We, oh, we have made it. So, yeah, that's what she told me. That <laughs> Did they, she they really? leave it on, and then people, if you're watching uh, from a hospital waiting room, hello. Hello, hope everything turns out okay. We're a huge hit there. Yes, I like that. I like that. That's good, though, because you want something entertaining if you're going to be stuck in a doctor's office. Do you yeah. like waiting? Somebody right now is flipping the channel. Yeah, somebody right now is like, yeah. no, I don't. You're right. I do want something entertaining, not this. <laughs> um, Okay, but yeah, I'm glad you're feeling better. I do feel better. Yeah. Yes, you look good. We got the pink memo. Yeah. We haven't matched How'd in a work? while. There's like uh, four or five of us here at the yeah. station. That Everybody's are wearing, wearing pink. pink today. Hmm. Just came up in rotation for me. Then it, yes, Lee has a very specific system of his clothing. Yeah, otherwise I'd wear the same thing. Yeah. It drives me nuts if, if you don't rotate. I'm the same way. I try to go a very long time between outfits that I wear on air. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll wear it, and then I try to go at least. If I can, my rule is if I can remember the last time I wore it. We haven't seen this since last night. I've, yep, and then I just slept <laughs> in it, and then I got up, and I just splashed some water on, and I'm ready to go. Um, By the way, yeah. uh, before I forget. Okay. People have given us a few suggestions as oh, yes. to what the wager may be when Kentucky plays Tennessee. And one suggestion was mm -hmm. hair dye, or a color, I should say. So for, you'd obviously... I would be orange. You'd have to dye it orange if Tennessee won. Yeah. Now, what are you going to do? Blue? Going to be a blue hair? I would if our show was the only show I had to do, but I have to do the evening news, so I can't exactly well, have blue hair. Well, that's your fault for being taken seriously. You're right. That was stupid. That is stupid. No, maybe what we could do is we could get like... Unhealthy. Nobody takes me seriously. No, they don't. I can have orange hair if I want. Exactly. Um... I could do it. I could do blue, but you could do like the Halloween hair stuff. I just can't dye it. But we could just do the stuff where you spray it on there and it washes out. But what if it didn't wash out? Well, I, it can't just be one day. It's got to be the whole week. Oh, you're right. So yeah, I guess I can't do that. You got to really punish the person. Lee and I were joking this morning that if Tennessee wins, he has to get a bikini wax. <laughs> But that I mean, one is, has my vote right now. What do you guys how, think? How would we show that exactly? I don't know. Sure. <laughs> it would just be sounds. Yeah. We would only Ooh. tape audio. Ooh. Yeah, Lee going, oh, <laughs> Moon River. Junior samples. Yes. Um, so those Clarkson. are a couple of ideas. If you don't know, last year, yeah, obviously Kentucky won during football season. And so I had to wear a had to have a Kentucky girl license plate on my car for two weeks. Which isn't that big a deal because yeah. you're living here. Exactly. I was going to have to put a Tennessee girl on my truck. Yes, that would have been my greatest joy, but it did not happen. No. So we've got to come As up with something that we stink. both can do and not get in trouble on air with our bosses. Well, anyway, if you can you send us a, a message on Facebook to help us out. Okay? Yes, we want to know what your thoughts are for the wager this year. Right, so you ready? Any, huh? any other housekeeping? No, I think we're done. Anything? With that. Okay. All right, let's do our hot topics. Uh, yeah, that new film, First Man, which stars uh, dreamy oh, Ryan Gosling, he's so handsome. has a little bit of controversy around it because the film's supposed to celebrate Neil Armstrong, who's a great American, by the way. He's the first guy to step foot on the moon. Yes. Well, Gosling made a statement that said, essentially, uh, the first moon landing was widely regarded in the end as a human achievement which fueled a political firestorm because the film premiered last week at the Venice Film Festival, got rave reviews, like a three minute standing ovation. But they didn't include the very famous moment where the American flag was planted on the moon surface. Now, the backlash from you know conservative Blue commentators planting, has been fierce, many branding the movie anti-American, which it is not. Gosling explained to reporters that the film's intent was to focus on Armstrong's personal introspective journey. And according to the director, 
The American flag is shown standing on the lunar surface multiple times in the movie, just not the actual planting of the flag. Neil Armstrong's two sons are defending the film, but Buzz Aldrin, who was on that ride, is not. He's a little upset by it. Is he? Okay. Yes. Okay. So hmm. here's what where it all went south. Because okay. I want to see this movie. Yeah. It looks great. Yes. I've been just raving about the trailer. Yes. And, and it's got great reviews. Ryan Gosling, as a Canadian, should have just kept his mouth shut. Yeah. Just don't say anything. Just don't, because when somebody brought attention to it, just don't, don't lecture anybody. Yeah. Because I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't either. Now, yeah. now Buzz Aldrin will tell you, well, yeah, we were in a race with the Russians, you know. So it was a huge moment so we to put were the like, flag there. Yes. We got here first. Yes. That's sort of a momentous occasion. Yes. For America, who put a lot of effort into that, obviously. And if the film does show the flag there, they just don't show the specific moment But it gets they're planted. making it a bigger deal than it was if Gosling had just kept his mouth shut. And the other thing, and I don't know about this film, because I think Spielberg uh, produced it, but mm -hmm. sometimes money comes from China for a lot of these films. Yes. And sometimes the Chinese, they sort of eke their little anti-Americanism in there sometimes. Mm -hmm. Because there's a few films that have been changed for the Chinese audience. Oh, really? Yeah. So, I don't know if that happened with this, because I'm not exactly sure it was funded mm -hmm. with Chinese help this time. Mm -hmm. but. It's well, not that big. I think it's a lot of it's hoopla still, over nothing. It's still a great American achievement. It is. It is. It's I'm, still not, I'm tired of boycotts. Everybody wants to boycott I stuff. I know. I like can't even get involved in I this story. I, you I'm need just an like, app to keep track of what you've boycotted. Yeah. No, wait. I can't remember. Do I support that anymore? Yeah. I don't know. Can I, I wear know. those? Yeah. Can I wear those? Do I need to burn my Nikes? No. I saw a great tweet yesterday. Remember we had that story about people upset over... Um, we were talking about uh, well, I'm Colin Kaepernick and yeah. now he's in that new ad for Nike. Claire mm -hmm. and I were discussing it yesterday and how a lot of people in response are burning their Nike tennis mm -hmm. shoes and other gear. Mm -hmm. I saw a tweet yesterday that said, you know, because obviously your opinion about Kaepernick is 100% your opinion. You do whatever you feel is right. You're on his on board with him or you're not. That is mm -hmm. totally fine. Okay. But I saw a tweet from someone that said, um, how about instead of burning your Nikes, you give them to a veteran in need or you give them to someone mm. in need? So I just thought that was a really interesting take. It's yeah. like Claire brought up yesterday. She said, you're only hurting yourself by burning right. stuff that you spent money on. If you don't want it anymore, yeah, give I it just, away to someone if, who needs it. Well, just like this movie, everything is politicized. Yes. I'm worn out by it. Yeah. Do we have to make everything I'm political? Can't we just go to the movies? And agree that America is the best. It's like I've talked about, let me bring in my big brother, Tom Cruise. Yes, you He's a brother. nut job. We know that. Yes, of course. But I still enjoy his movies. Mm -hmm. He makes great movies. Mm -hmm. I can set all that aside and suspend my disbelief. Yes. And enjoy the show. Yes. So a seafood market in Kuwait has been closed. Uh, they reportedly discovered <laughs> staff had been putting plastic googly eyes on fish to make googly. them appear fresher. The country's Ministry of Commerce shut down the business. The news has gone viral, as you can imagine. No word if the fish market is back open. Come on. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of fish. I'm really not a fan of fish if it's looking at me. Yeah, I'm not a fan of fish if their eyes are going googly. Well, googly eyes or not. Did I mean, they, how did they think they were going to get away from this? Come on, you can't do but this. But still, I don't want to see a fish head, ever. I, yeah, I never want to see the fish head anyway. I think it's different. I want to see it in a filet patty that's right. breaded. That's I don't, the only time I, I want to see it I don't want it looking back at me. Yes. Okay, a Virginia man got fed up with kids trespassing on his property and put up an electric fence, so parents called police because the fence was just inches away from the bus stop where the kids go. The man says he had it with the students trespassing and leaving trash in his yard. County officials determined the fence was on an easement and asked the man to remove the fence. He did. He is allowed to put it back up if he keeps his uh, if he keeps it entirely on his property. Okay, so it was not just out easement. a little bit. Yeah. Well, Too he can do out. what he wants on his property. Well, it looks that's great look too. Look at that aesthetic. That's Plus, beautiful. Yeah, I love that. Really sprucing up the neighborhood oh, with the electric I love, fence. I love it. Why don't you just build a moat? And right there on the corner. I love yeah. it so much. So two men in Texas noticed the lack of Asian representation at their local McDonald's. So they held a photo shoot of themselves eating at the restaurant. They edited the picture to look like the other posters. Yeah, so their issue was the ads up. Uh, so they dressed in McDonald's uniforms to hang up the picture. Yeah. So they snuck this in. They took pictures of themselves and then snuck these up. Uh -huh. Well, they crea created a viral YouTube video about it. Well, it right. caught the attention of McDonald's, as you can imagine. Uh -huh. The company released a statement saying they applaud the students' activity, creativity, and hope to see them in the restaurant Good soon. So they're not mad about it. 
Yeah, why would they? They're giving a free plug. Yeah, they're just putting up an <laughs> That's ad. That's actually like, a good looking ad. It does there. look really good. A, a new study shows the germiest place in an airport gross. is the plastic bin that you're used for shoes. You know, oh, uh, with, they make gross. you take it off. You know, TSA, they do this nonsense. And it, your carry-ons, it's a hotbed for viruses. Oh, you're Researchers so right. also examined surfaces of handrails, toilets, kiosks, touchscreens, and toys in children's play areas. Security trays were the most... Contaminated. Uh, yeah, the most contaminated. Ugh. The viruses were found in half of the samples taken from security trays. No viruses were detected on the toilet bowl, the flush button, or the locks inside stall doors, which is amazing. Yeah, if you think about how many people are touching these trays on a day, hourly basis, really, going through security. I, I always, and you know what, I, I put my sandwich right on there. Do you? Yeah, I put my sandwich and we scan it and then Disgusting. I eat it. Disgusting. I didn't know that I was. No, I yeah, was, that's why you were sick yesterday. That's right. Lee's just there using it like a lunch tray. Well, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> no, it's not. All right, those are our hot topics today. All right, well, it's uh, time for another giveaway. We've got four more tickets to give away today to the Poppy Mountain Bluegrass Festival. Look at that guy. I love this photo. September 11th through the 15th. It's a great event. Send us a message on Facebook right now or shoot us an email, lwlh at lex18.com. If you're in the contact info, we'll announce the winner at the end of the show. Good luck. Okay, well, coming up. We're going to show you one of the coolest activities we've ever done for this show. It was so awesome. We went paddle boarding inside a cave. Talk about an experience. And we're going to tell you how you can do this too next. Stay with us.